In this video, I'm going to talk about layers. So when you download this file here, engineering complex underscore first floor dot DWG in course link, what you notice when it opens, it opens this view. Now this view is the, uh, the paper view. So it means to say, this is the look, this is the look of the printed drawing. And you notice that there's a title block in the view. So the title block would have a logo here and the title of the, the project and the drawing title, which is first floor. And you also can see some, uh, some uh, things here. So it's, it's the information of the, of the design or the uh, drawing. Now, in, uh, in AutoCAD, there will always be a model view. So in the model view, if you click on this tab here for model, the model view is always the, the view in real time. So if I'm looking at this one, let's say this is like 30 feet, that's actually 30 feet in this model. So it's always one-to-one -one scale here in the model. And in base plan or the layout, which is a printed, it's obviously it's not going to be one-to-one. -one. Now let's go back to model here and, and we'll be talking about layers. Now in the layers, you go to your the top part here. And if you click on this icon here for layer properties, you'll see there's a dialog box that will show up, which is this one. And these are the layers that you will be, that you'll see. Now, another, another way to, to see those layer options, you type in layer, layer in the command line and then hit enter. And then it's the same thing. It will show you the layers. Now, if you scroll down, uh, the architect really did a lot of layers here. And if you notice in the first column here, that's the name of the layer. They have some codes here for their name, and we're not really sure about what that means. But what we know that they created or they grouped the layers, uh, did the layers, um, or they organized it properly. So now if you click on this on, it means to say uh, a layer is turned on. And let's scroll down and see if there are hidden or yeah, hidden uh, layers. So this one are hidden, it means to say the visibility was turned off. And what I'm going to do here, I just for, for the exercise, I'm just going to turn on all the layers. Turn on, and you'll notice if it's turned on, uh, the light bulb will be uh, yellow. And then I'm going to close this. And now you notice now that when I opened this the first time, we didn't have these uh, chairs and tables here. We also didn't have these information here, like the names of the rooms or all of these ones here. So this is the complete drawing of the architect it's because the I turned on all the layers. Now, there are reasons why the architect didn't turn on all the objects. So maybe when they send this, this file to us, they only want us to see uh, like the room numbers or so some information that we don't need, they just turn it off. So let's go back to the layers again. And now let's look at the other options here. Now, if you look at this, uh, this option here, the padlock, Podlock means to say, when I click on podlocks, this podlock means to say the layer would be locked. It would be visible, but once you click on that line and try to delete or modify that, that uh, object, it won't do it because it's locked. Now I'm going to, I already know uh, before I open this, that the IFUCAB and all the IFs are furnitures. So what I'll do, I'm going to lock those furniture layers. And I'll close this one. And I'll go to the furniture here. Okay, so now let's say, uh, so let's say I'm going back to, so I'm just gonna close this one. I'm going to try to click on this one here. I don't know if you notice, but when I click on it, it doesn't let me do it. It doesn't let me delete it. I'm going to try to delete it. That's because the layer is locked. 
Let's see some layers that are not locked here. Like for example here, obviously this one's not locked because I can select it and I can even delete it like that. I'm going to hit Control Z to undo. Now the question is how would they know which layer is the object? Okay, so that's really easy. Let's say for example here, this, uh, this text here or the label for this corridor, if I click on that one, you notice here in the layer it says that See the color is white, the layer of color is white, and it's I-S-I-N-U-M. So that is the layer of this text or this label. So again, if I click on this one and I'll look for that layer, um, I-S, let's go back here again, and I have to remember that layer. So it's I-S-I-N-U-M. So I'm going back here and uh, I am looking for that, which is this one here. So I'm going to lock this layer and I'm going to close this one. And now you notice that when I try clicking on this, um, so I'm going back here and if I click on this one here and I try to delete, I cannot delete it. That's because it's locked. Now, what other features are there in the layers? So let's go back to the layers, uh, layers properties here. And if you notice this icon here for print, if, for example, I want to print something, but let's say I don't want to print the furniture, but I want the, uh, the furniture to be visible in my drawing, what I'll do, I will keep my furniture turned on, okay? And, but I'm going to click on this icon here and you notice that makes like a no print sign. So that means to say when I print this drawing, that layer won't be printed. Now there are lots of advantages in creating layers. It's more actually of grouping things together and just imagine for this furniture here, if I didn't put that in, if, if the architect didn't put that in one layer and then he or she's gonna distribute the drawing without the furniture, now he or she will individually delete all those furnitures and if you got lots of furnitures here that will be done manually but if uh, if the furniture is in one layer i can just turn it off or say uh, or or make it no print for that layer and that will be better and faster